Hi and welcome to another Postgres tutorial. On this tutorial I'm going to show you how to install Postgres for your native Mac OS. Uh, I'm currently running the Mac OS El Capitan so this should work for this and it should work for the latest version which is Sierra out soon. And the first thing you need to do is find a download for Postgres. Um, there are a few different distributors but this Enterprise DB um, is a non-commercial or non-profit uh, commercial distributor of Postgres. So if you go to their website enterprisedb.com, go to downloads and here under software downloads if you just choose Postgres, scroll down a bit you can see they have the latest stable release which is 9.5. Here they have the beta release for their next version. So if you go to the top and just choose Mac OS, press download and then if you go to your downloads folder uh, you can see I already have it downloaded. Uh, if you double click on this and double click install, enter your your password. Oh, get that right. There you go, and the install will basically build itself. So if you just confirm all default options, here you are requested to add give a password. This will be your your root password, so this is your default Postgres user password. Again, this is the default port. Default is localhost. There you go. Here you get an option for Stack Builder. <coughs> this is to install additional tools. You don't actually need this, and later on in tutorials, I will show you how to actually install patches and any additional extensions. So you can unselect this if you want. There's no need for it. And there you go, you are finished. If you look at your applications here, you will see some new ones. Uh, there is a, a SQL shell here, there is some Postgres documentation, there is a stack builder, there is PG admin, and there is a configuration reload. If we start with the shell, if you click on here, you actually get taken straight into a login. Uh, you're given default options here, so you can see here the server is a default option, so if you don't supply one, this is what it will use. Again, database will be default Postgres, port is default, username is default, and there you go, you are in. Um, if you want, you can see your database is available here, so you just have your standard default Postgres 10, your two template databases. However, there is one thing about this shell usage here, is that if you actually exit to try and access your file structure that sits underneath here, it actually just exits straight out. So what you actually need to do here is what you need to realize here is actually this is a shortcut, it's a terminal shortcut. So when you actually launch, it launches terminal, but it applies it as a shortcut, so it goes straight here. So on exiting, it has nowhere to go. Um, so if you actually want to navigate your file structure underneath here, what you need to do is you need to add, make some slight changes to your path variables. So here, if you go to shell and you open a new window, Let's make this slightly bigger so it can be seen. So you're actually going to access this as your Postgres user. So you need to sudo in as your Postgres reader user. So and this is done via your root user. So you sudo to root and then you sudo to Postgres. There you go. And if you look here, this actually gives you a clue as to what's going on here. So you can see this run psql shell script. Again, this is the shortcut that is fired. So if you actually view that file, and then at the base here, you will see the actual file, file script that is actually fired when you press enter. And this is what you actually want to access your database. So if you exit this script, and if you view your path variable, and you can see it here, you actually need to add that path to this variable. So if you type export path, you enter the directory that you want, it will actually sit here, and then make sure that you keep your existing path variables, there you go. So now if you type path, there you can see your Postgres directory is actually in there now. And now if you type PSSQL for your Postgres password, and there you go, you are in. If you click on your PG admin, 
Again, this should be all set up to go straight away. If you see here, you have Postgres 9.4. 9.4 is actually the default distribution with included in Mac OS now. But obviously, we install 9.5, so we just need to double click on that. You can expand your databases. You double click test BD I just created is there for you. And the semi Postgres. And again, here we go, you can create queries straight away. And that is a super quick, super quick, efficient way of how to install Postgres on your Mac. Thank you very much.